Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Beauty Steals haul. So I got a ton of stuff per usual. Um, there were some things actually that I didn't pick up that I really, really wanted to. Uh, one of which was the Lorac uh, Unzipped palette. Uh, that was out of stock at like 8 a.m. that day. Uh, and then a couple other things I also wanted to try that were out of stock by the time I was able to order them as well. But let's go ahead and go through the things that I did get. <laughs> so I believe the most, the things from earlier on in the sale are down at the bottom. So we're just going to start with what's at the top. Um, so I got a couple of the Tarte blushes as well as the Tarte um, Exposed Highlight. Yeah, the 12 hour um, highlight and exposed. So I'll start with the highlighter maybe. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like for both the blush and the highlighter. Uh, and this is what the outer packaging looks like for exposed. And that is what the actual highlight looks like. I am going to, oh, it's so soft. Okay. So that is what exposed looks like on my fair complected skin. Um, it is right there. It is um, more golden toned than I had anticipated it being, but it's still very pretty. Um, I'm worried it's going to be too dark for my complexion, uh, but now that we are going through spring and summer, I'm sure I'm really going to enjoy it. So that was exposed. Uh, I already have the exposed blush and really, really, really love it. I've actually been using it a lot this week. Uh, it was the product that I took with me uh, when I went to Utah for work. Uh, and I really have been loving that blush. So this is the Amazonian 12 hour clay blush in the shade Dazzled. This one was a shimmery one. It was like a dusty rose, but it has some shimmer in it as well. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch of that. Well, that's really pretty. It almost looks matte just with some shimmer in it. So that is dazzled. Cool. As I throw it on the ground. <laughs> All right. And then the last one that I picked up was the um, part of the Naughty Nudes collection, which I actually wasn't really uh, positive that they were going to be on sale. Um, but they were. Let's see if I can get this open. This is the shade Risqué. Uh-oh. There we go. So that is what that packaging looks like. I believe this one was the peachy, the peachier of the nudes, uh, but that is what that one looks like. Oh, that's really pretty. Very pretty. Very excited to use all of those Tarte products. All right. So next let's do the Mario. Oh, I am missing one thing because I took it with me uh, when I was traveling. I picked up three Mario Badishu, Badescu, whatever products. Um, when they were on sale, I picked up the um, Enzyme Cleansing Gel, which apparently is good for all skin types. Very interested to try this out. I've read a lot of great reviews on that. I also picked up the Flower and Tonic Mask. Very excited to try this as well. Oh, it's not over. I'm not going to open it just yet. Uh, but the other thing I picked up was a little travel size of the Rose Water Spray. I'm in love with that product. I've repurchased many times, but did need a smaller size for travel. And that was perfect. So I picked this up. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder in the shade Fair. When I first opened it, I thought it was crazy dark. I was like, well, I guess I'm returning it. And as I was about to put it, in, like, put it in my car to return it, um, I opened it again. And it actually is very, see, now it looks a little dark again. I can't make up my mind. Um, this is what this product looks like when I swatched it and sort of put it on the back of my wrist. It blended right in. So I think I am going to try this out. It might be a bit dark for me. Even yeah, on camera, it definitely looks dark. Um, but I think we'll see with this one. It might be good for me for summer. I picked up two of the Anastasia Brow Wizzes. One in dark brown and one in medium brown. So I have the Brow Wiz in... Chocolate, I think, because I had the NYX pencil in chocolate and loved it. However, chocolate is a bit too warm toned for me in the NYX, nope, in the <laughs> Anastasia Brow Wiz. So I picked up two different shades, um, hoping one of these would be my match. Uh, and if it's not, I'm sure someone I know will be able to use it. I picked up a couple facial cleansers. So I picked up the Murad Essential Seed Cleanser. 
Uh, this is the environmental shield. It has little beads in it, and that is what that looks like. It was also five times points on Murad when I picked this up, so that was pretty handy. And then this is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash, and that's what that one looks like. Very excited to try these guys out. I picked up a backup of one of my all-time favorite mascara products. Um, this is the Bare Real Tinted Primer. I use this on sort of no makeup makeup days. So when I just do like two shadows, a uh, really super light, just like fiber gel on the brow, just looks super basic, um, but put together at the same time. This is the sort of product that I use. I'm obsessed with this. I got a couple free things as well. They had codes for things. Um, that you could add to your cart during the sale. So I got um, the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Dolly. A sample of that for free. I got the NARS The Multiple in Orgasm for free. And then this is the Purology Serious Color Hydrate. Um, I guess it's just like a, oh, an air dry cream. I'm sorry. And that was also a free sample as well. Um, I picked up a Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Love, love, love this mascara. I do have a couple little of the sample sizes, but I prefer to use those for travel. I also thought I would pick up a full size as well. One of my all-time favorite mascaras. Also picked up the Becca Backlight Filming, nope, yeah, Backlight Primer Filter, uh, Priming Filter, goodness. Um, I have the purple one, the First Light Filter, uh, and I really do enjoy that, so I thought I would pick up a full size of this since it was on sale. Leo is directly, like right, right here. <laughs> All right, so just some, some samples. This is just the Shiseido something serum. Just some of the samples that my orders came with. Um, I picked up a couple of the Bare Minerals primers. Uh, so this was the Prime Time BB Cream in the shade Fair, and then this is the Prime Time Original Primer. Um, I swatched this in a Sephora, the original one, and it's more or less the Smashbox sort of original silicone sort of primer. But it was really really nice so I thought I'd try that one and then this looks like it was a pretty decent shade match for me the fair so I thought that would be good for again no makeup makeup days so those are two things I'm very excited to try um oh I guess another free thing <laughs> that I got when I ordered uh all the Too Faced Love Flush blushes I guess we can go through those first so um I already have in my collection Baby Love which is the more natural of the uh, Love Flush blushes so I basically had to pick up all of these um, before uh, when they were on sale. This was, I believe, day one of the sale. So I got Your Love is King, which is a more berry one. Uh, this is uh, Love Hangover, which is more of a peach, uh, like a pinky, peachy sort of shade, but more brighter pink. This is uh, How Deep is Your Love. Then I got the really pretty oh my gosh this is so pretty this is a sort of corally shade with like a nice little gleam of shimmer but not like glitter in it and that is i will always love you and then it's a really um typical pinky blush justify my love and that is what that one looks like i'm very excited to get these out of these boxes and play with them because i'm obsessed with baby love and that formula so very excited about those i'm running out of room <laughs> and then again this is what came with uh, the Too Faced purchase it was free with $35 purchase, I believe. Um, and so I got this cute little peanut butter and jelly makeup bag. Hated the palette. The bag's super cute though. I uh, actually ended up returning the palette. It was so bad. Um, and then I also got a little sample. It's a pretty decent size. I might even be full size of uh, the Too Faced Honey Infused Lip Gloss. And I don't know if there is a shade. I don't think there is a shade, but it is super, super cute. And let's see. And it smells like honey. It's like a really nice, very similar to the smell of the palette. Excuse me, very floral. Love, love, love uh, glosses like that. So I'm very excited to give that a go. So I also ran out of a body scrub recently and was really interest, uh, intrigued by the um, this scent that they had at Ulta. Ooh. Uh, this is what it looks like. I apologize. I'm just really excited to smell it again. This is the Fig and Honey Exfoliating Body Scrub. So I believe it was like every week Ulta had different deals going on for their brand of products. So this was four bucks. So, and I was out of a body scrub, so I thought I would give it a go. Very excited to try this guy. Smells heavenly. All right. 
And the last couple things I believe I picked up, uh, this is one of the first ones. I uh, This is the Stila Huge Extreme Ma nope, Lash Mascara. And so this guy looks like, not going to open it, don't want it to dry out, but it is a very similar wand to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It is a natural bristle wand like that with that sort of hourglass shape. So very excited to be using that. And I believe last but not least, I picked up the Lorac Pore Fection Powder in the shade PF1 Fair. I believe this definitely is fair enough. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's what that one looks like. Uh, super soft, uh, fine milled powder. Um, actually, it might be even a little bit yellow. Maybe it might be more neutral tone, but that is what the powder looks like. Super finely milled. Uh, very, very excited to play with that as well. So okay, that I believe covers the things that I picked up in my 21 Days of Beauty Steals Ulta Haul. If you guys have any questions about these products or would like to see a more in-depth review on any of them, please feel free to let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.